you know, decorating for the fall doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to be costly, and she is going to help us out with that. Both those uh, things I just mentioned right there are costly, complicated. Sue Pitchforth, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Decor Therapy Plus, and you've been busy. The Ottawa Fall Home Show was recent, yes. and uh, you were presenting. I was. I did two presentations, and uh, just by the questions and the excitement of the crowd, I think they were really inspired for the fall season. Mm -hmm. Very good. And mm -hmm. you are going to inspire us now. That's what I'm hoping season, to do. Thanksgiving weekend and all that good stuff. Um, what's the best way to make family and friends feel welcomed into your home? I think the biggest uh, way to do that is to really to surround yourself with things that you love in your house, be it inside or outside. And that really gives uh, a sense of welcome. When people come into your house, they sort of get a feel who you are as a family, what kind of things that you like, mm -hmm. um, things that you've had down uh, brought down from generations, your favorite colors, you know, if you're a sports fan family and you have sports memorabilia, it's really all about the family. Okay, and not only uh, inside the house, but outside the house, mm -hmm, people sure. are making their way towards your house, it's always oh, good to absolutely. have it nicely decorated outside. For sure, especially for the fall and Thanksgiving season, and we've got a couple of pictures that uh, refer to that. And this is a, a bench that I created for a client. And really, I, I picked up a throw for them and a galvanized tin container. Put some mini gourds, pumpkins, leaves in there. Hmm. Um, you've got ba uh, straw, straw bales of hay. We've got a couple of uh, scarecrows. Mm -hmm. Things don't have to be expensive. And it's really just sort of pulling it together and having some fun with mm -hmm. it. Look at that as well. And nice. isn't that welcoming? Very comfortable. You want looking. to sit down with a drink and never leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe some of your relatives. But, uh, okay, so uh, how do you bring nature indoors? What's the best way to do that? So the best way, obviously, that I think most people understand is pumpkins and gourds. Um, what I do is I keep pruners in my car and I, I cut down some bulrushes along the way. I gather leaves and sticks. You can put them in, in um, vases and branches. Here we've got a mason jar with some wheat sheaf. Hmm. Very, very simple to do. Uh, it's not complicated and it's not costly. That's the really neat thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, very simple to do. You don't need any special skill. Mm -hmm. This one I love. It's a glass vase and we've got mini pumpkins and branches that were cut out cut mm -hmm. from in the backyard. Super cute. A bulrush is also known as a cattail, correct? They are. They are. <laughs> I grew up calling them cattails. Some, oh, one, one day somebody called them a bulrush and I went, what is it? I've never heard of that in my life, so <laughs> second person now that I've heard that from. Uh, lanterns? Lanterns are always yes. fun this time of year. Makes things kind of, things kind of warm but spooky-ish. For sure. Lanterns are, um, again, on your porch or inside. It just really adds a nice ambient light. And um, you can, there are, are lanterns that you can actually use for Halloween and, you know, make it a little more spookier. Mm -hmm. But um, it's all about creating that warm atmosphere for people to come, um, spend time together, be with family and friends, and just celebrate uh, the relationships. Mm -hmm. And lanterns can still be safe though, correct? Oh yes, so yeah. even with candle holders, lanterns, anything where you need candles, mm -hmm. I always use battery operated ones. Mm -hmm. They're time, they're time sensitive now, so they can come on when it's dark and then, you know, go off four or five hours later. So you don't have to worry about it because mm -hmm. you don't want to leave the house thinking, oh, my gosh, did I blow out that candle? <laughs> yeah, 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 or the lantern. Like or the lantern, for sure. Did I blow out the lantern? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so what about tablescaping? Because I think you've been on the show before talking about that term. What exactly yeah. does tablescaping mean? So tablescaping is really setting your table up for, for entertaining or for that Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, some things here that you could use for your tablescaping, some burlap, you can wind that down the center. We've got some gourds here. Uh, one of the neat things that I recently did for a client was cut the tops off of the gourds and mini pumpkins mm -hmm. and put a battery operated candle in there. Hmm. Very, very simple. And uh, topiaries as well, just putting one pumpkin on top of another. Mm -hmm. Very, very simple. All these things you could add to your table, uh, to the centerpiece. And again, it doesn't have to be difficult to do. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, switch it up. Yeah, you can definitely switch it up. Yeah. What's, the, what's the best place to go to uh, to get items such as this? Oh the, my gosh. To, well, to make things easy. I mean, I'm sure there's all kinds of You're asking a shopper. Yeah. <laughs> For those that uh, don't love shopping as much as I do, um, you can go to Home Sense, the dollar store. A lot of what I have here is from the dollar store. Very, very simple to do, and you don't have to spend a lot of money as well. So if you sort of augment between uh, regular price and dollar store, you can get a really good selection mm -hmm. of stuff. Save some cash. Yeah, and Important. then I always hold it 
keep it for next year mm -hmm. and just sort of, of build on that, just yeah. like with Christmas. Totally. And this mm -hmm. uh, amazing uh, pillow we got here. This yeah, pillow. The big trend in pillows um, that our viewers are seeing in the stores is anything with writing. And I love this, this one because it said, Hello Fall. And I actually, when it's a nice sunny day, I'll have that on my... Um, my front bench so when my family comes for Thanksgiving it's going to be welcoming them on the front bench. That's wonderful. Yeah. Big plans for Thanksgiving? Yeah, my first one in my new house here yeah. in Ottawa so I'm really excited. Yeah, but yeah. the pressure's on though because you are like the designer in town. You've got to make it look nice. Oh my gosh, well I'm no trying pressures. in between clients, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've been busy and we always appreciate you dropping by especially for our Thanksgiving uh, edition of uh, mm -hmm. Daytime Ottawa. DecorTherapyPlus.com, Sue Pitchforth. Thank you very much. Thank you. More great Thanksgiving ideas coming up right here on Daytime Ottawa, Rogers TV.